hey there and welcome now in this video we're going to be talking about the polar coordinate system and how we can use the polar coordinate system to rotate objects in a circle just like the object you're seeing on the screen it is rotating it is moving along a circular path and we're just going to uh, we're just going to replicate this animation in uh, today's video so there's a few things uh, we need to learn first before we move on to coding itself. Now, the first thing that we need uh, to understand is the angle and the radius of the polar coordinate system. So, the polar coordinate system is basically a coordinate system uh, which uses the radius and angle instead of the x and y. So what we really need to do is we need to declare the radius and angles and then we need to convert it into the x and y which we can then use in our animation so uh, this video we're going to do exactly that so we're going to create this uh, rotating object animation in processing so let's just get started so I'm going uh, I'm going to create an empty sketch and then we're going to start coding so the first thing we need is the setup and draw functions so that's the script by the setup function and inside of a setup function uh, i'm going to set the size of a screen set the size of animation to uh, 800 by 800 and then move to the draw function now uh, as i've already stated that uh, the two most important thing that you need uh, to understand about polar coordinate system uh, are the uh, the radius so let's just quickly define our radius by r and let's just give it a value of 300 for now and we we're going to explain we're going to explore it uh, in, a, in a more detail uh, later so let's just uh, set it to 300 for now and the next thing is the angle so we're just going to set it to uh, zero for now uh, now let's just move to our draw function so uh, Let's just quickly draw a circle on our screen. Uh, so I'm going to set my background color to white. And then let's just draw an ellipse at the origin of our screen. So let's just draw an ellipse. And we're going to draw an ellipse with a size of 100. So if we, if we run this program, you can see there's a, there, there's a ellipse, but uh, we want our ellipse to be at the center, so we wanna we wanna really shift the origin of our of our sketch to the center. For that, we need a function called translate. So we go, we're basically going to translate the origin to the center of our screen. So uh, and the center of our screen are basically the uh, the width divided by two and the height divided by two so if i run it again you can see we have our lips uh at the middle at the center of our screen so uh, i want to uh, give it a fill so i'm quickly going to give it a fill of uh red colors so let's just give it a fill of 255 0 0 and then this one so we have this object we have the circular object at the center of our screen now we want this object to move in a circle so for that we need to use this radius and angle variables uh, to do so so the first thing is we need the x variable uh, this x variable uh, this is by the way a mathematical formula to convert fuller coordinate system to uh, the x y values which we can use in processing so uh, the formula for the x is the radius times the cosine of angle and the the y equals radius times the sine of the angle so if i put in and if i uh so if i draw this ellipse at x comma y after uh, converting the the polar coordinate system so the r and the angle uh, uh, into x and y and if i run it you can see that the ellipse has uh, changed its location 
so to make it more clear let's just draw a line from origin to x and y then it, it's going to make it a little more clear so if i run it you can see there's an origin uh, and we have a line from that origin to x and y so this is how we convert the radius and angle uh, to x and y now in order to uh, in order to move this this object in a circular path what we want to do is we want to increase the value of our angle with each frame so if i write down if i come here and then increase my angle value uh, by a small amount let's just say 0 0.1 and then if i run it you can see that our object starts uh, to rotate so this is how we uh, convert this is how we rotate objects in a circular path and processing using the polar coordinate system so uh, let's just play with the variables the variables are an angle so as you can see the radius is 300 so if we decrease the radius and run it again you can see that the distance between the center uh, of our screen and the object uh, decreases as well so if we increase it and if we uh, set it back to 300 you can see the objects move the uh, moves are further away from the horizon and similarly the uh, the amount of the, the speed with which the object rotates depends on the increment uh, of the angle which we've set now for now it is 0 0.1 so if we uh, increase it to something like 0 0.01 and run it you can see that our object is moving really slowly so if we change it to something like 0 0.5 uh, it's going to move it's going to move a little faster so this is how we uh, move any object in a circular path now i think this is enough for this video and we will be discussing more about this polar coordinate system in our coming videos so until then um, just stay active you know uh, and happy coding